you might be wondering why I'm staring at you the way I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's because I'm trying to figure out why you are still understanding yourself to everyone and to everything. Wherever you are right now, and you feel like you're not getting what you deserve, that's because you are underselling yourself. That's probably because you are underselling yourself. I know this lady who puts in 100% into her work. She works late hours, okay? She's such an amazing fashion designer. But guess what? I visited her last week, okay? And uh, the dresses this lady makes are so detailed, you know, so beautiful, honestly speaking, okay? So I kind of, I was like, oh, I love your dress. The one at the right hand, you know, the right side, I love it. How much is that? And she goes, oh, that's 15,000 naira. And I'm like, how long did it take you to work on that dress? She said, um, two weeks. I said, two weeks. So it took you two weeks to work on that dress and you are selling it for 15,000 naira when its minimum should be 40,000 naira. Then I looked at her and said, listen, you are underselling yourself. Why? Why are you underselling yourself? You make such beautiful dresses and you sell them so cheap. Why do you do that? And she goes, oh, that's the maximum price they can afford. You know, in this place, you know, I would love to sell it for more, but they can't afford more. Hello? Listen, never ever go down in your value just because of your environment, okay? If your environment can't afford your words, you change environment. If you can't change environment, you influence that environment. You influence the environment you live in. You don't just go settle and lower yourself just because that's how your environment behaves. You have the power to change things in your life. You have the power to move and go for what you really want. But you are the one deciding to settle. If you feel like you're not getting what you deserve, it is because you are underselling yourself to your employers. Okay? So it is time for you to project your actual words. Okay? It is time for you to actualize this and project your actual words. Guys, my name is Shilene Umabezi and I welcome you to a moment with me. The universe is huge and God is big. He did not put you on this earth so you could not do anything with your life. That's not your purpose. You can do much more but you need to start believing that you can do it. And then look at people for inspiration and have a healthy jealousy of what people have achieved. And then think of yourself and say, wow, if this person can achieve this, if this person can build this mansion, then I can do it too. That's having a healthy jealousy of what someone has achieved. Have a healthy jealousy of people's achievements and then start. Okay? You need to start. When you look at people and you'll be like, wow, wow, I can do it too. Okay? You need to start because you can't just constantly sit and complain about your life not changing when you are not doing anything about it okay you can't change your life with just ideas in your head you need to change your life with ideas executed things don't fall into your laps if you don't take actions okay someone out there is living your dream life and that's because they were smart enough that's because they stopped procrastinating that's because they took action do you think that you will ever feel ready to start no because guess what? Your brain, you see this brain, it will always search for excuses, okay? To make you keep procrastinating that thing, okay? Whatever it is that you want to start, start it now, okay? There is always a step that you can take at any given time. Hello? We need to learn how to listen, okay? The majority of people I've met don't know how to listen. When you meet them, they keep talking, 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 non-stop. This is my mom, this is my dad, that is my cat, that is my dog. And before you know it, you know their whole life. 
when they don't even know your name. Why? Because they never let you talk. Because they never listen. Majority of people, when they get the opportunity to meet someone, to finally listen to them, it's a non-stop talking for them. And guess what? They end up oversharing. So for me, if I meet you and you keep talking, 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 not letting me say a word, I'm logging out. Honestly, because I'll be looking at you in the eyes, like I'm listening to you, but I do not hear a single word from you. Because in my head, I'm already thinking, what am I going to do next? So please, learn how to listen. Do not talk too much. When you talk too much, you overshare. Alright? And people find you unattractive when you overshare. When you meet people, learn to listen. Alright? Do not just talk, talk, talk. Because if you do that, you end up oversharing. And trust me, you're going to regret it. So learn to listen to people. And you're going to assimilate knowledge from that source. Guys, we've come to the end of today's episode of Moments with me. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for always clicking to watch my video. You know I love and celebrate you.